We all know SpaceX and its mission to build affordable space travel infrastructure. But the visionary Elon Musk, the man behind all the adventures the human race could go on, takes various daily steps to make his dream come true. Now he's in the news because SpaceX is building a new Raptor engine every 24 hours. Yes, you heard that right. SpaceX is building a new Raptor engine every day. But why? Let's begin. Taking steps to address two of the space agency's biggest concerns, a senior NASA official has complimented what SpaceX has done and said that it's working extremely hard for the development of a vehicle to land humans on the surface of the moon. In April 2021, NASA selected SpaceX and Starship for its human landing system. This was the riskiest choice of NASA's options in some ways. This is because Starship is a very large and technically advanced vehicle. But due to the company's self-investment of billions of dollars into the project, SpaceX submitted the lowest bid. NASA had confidence that the company would ultimately deliver from its previous work with SpaceX. There were two biggest technological development concerns of NASA. There were the new Raptor rocket engine and the transfer and storage of liquid oxygen and methane propellant in orbit. NASA's Deputy Associate Administrator Mark Kurasich oversees the development of Artemis missions to the moon and informs about NASA's two biggest technological problems. Kurasich said SpaceX has made substantial progress in both areas during a NASA Advisory Council subcommittee meeting. What is SpaceX? Space Exploration Technologies Corporation is a spacecraft manufacturer, launcher, and satellite communications corporation in America. Its headquarters is located in Hawthorne, California. It was founded by Elon Musk in the year 2002. It was started to reduce space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. The company manufactures the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy and Starship launch vehicles, several rocket engines, Cargo Dragon and Crew Dragon spacecraft, and Starlink communication satellites. SpaceX is developing its satellite internet constellation. It is named Starlink and its main intention is to provide commercial internet service. In January 2020, the Starlink constellation became the largest satellite constellation ever launched. It comprises over 3,300 small satellites in orbit as of December 2022. The company is also developing Starship. Starship is a privately funded, fully reusable super heavy lift launch. It is mainly for interplanetary and orbital spaceflight. Once operational, it aims to become SpaceX's primary orbital vehicle, supplanting the existing Falcon 9. The company has developed several rocket engines like Merlin, Kestrel, and Raptor since the founding of SpaceX in 2002. These engines are used in launch vehicles. Draco for the reaction control system. It was part of the Dragon series of spacecraft. Super Draco was for the abort capability in Crew Dragon. Merlin is a family of rocket engines. All the rocket engines use liquid oxygen, LOX, and RP-1 propellants. Merlin was first used to power Falcon 1's first stage. It is now used in both stages of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy vehicles. Kestrel uses the same propellants. It was used as a Falcon 1 rocket's second stage main engine. Draco and Super Draco are hypergolic liquid propellant rocket engines. Draco engines are used in the reaction control system of the Dragon and Dragon 2 spacecraft. Super Draco engine is more powerful. Did you know that eight Super Draco engines provide launch escape capability for crewed Dragon 2 spacecraft during an abort scenario? Raptor is a new group of liquid oxygen and liquid methane-fueled full-flow stage combustion cycle engines. They power the first and second stages of the in-development Starship launch system. In late 2016, development versions were test-fired and the engine flew for the first time. They powered the Star Hopper vehicle to an altitude of 20 meters, which is 66 feet. In the year 2019, SpaceX operates three orbital launch sites at present. There are Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Vandenberg Space Force Base, and Kennedy Space Center. In addition, another orbital site is under construction near Brownsville, Texas. So what is a Raptor? The Raptor rocket engine is crucial in the success of a Starship. 33 Raptor 2 engines power the Super Heavy Booster. The Heavy Booster serves as the vehicle's first stage. Six more Raptor 2 engines are used by the Starship's upper stage. These engines will need to relight successfully on the surface of the moon to carry astronauts back to orbit inside Starship for a successful lunar mission. The astronauts will probably die if the engines fail. Karasich said that the SpaceX has moved very quickly on development. He mentioned that they have seen SpaceX manufacture Raptor 1.0. They have upgraded to 2.0 now. The major reason for the upgrade is that the second Raptor increases performance and thrust. The second reason is, Raptor 2.0 also provides the parts for low prices. 
they build these things very fast. For example, SpaceX originally had a goal to manufacture seven engines per week. They hit this goal about a quarter ago. Therefore, they are now building seven engines a week. Approximately 510,000 pounds of thrust is produced from the Raptor to a rocket engine. This is almost similar to the amount of thrust produced by the RS-25 engine. The RS-25 engine will be used to power NASA's Space Launch System rocket. In the 1970s, this engine was designed and developed by Rocket Team. It was developed for the Space Shuttle program. The company has decades of experience manufacturing Raptor engines. NASA gave Aerojet Rocket Team a contract worth $1.16 billion to restart the production line for the RS-25 engine in 2015. This money was given to re-establish manufacturing facilities. It was not given to manufacturing engines. NASA is paying more than $100 million for each engine. The goal was for Aerojet Rocket Dean to produce four of these engines per year with a startup funding. As it builds and tests Raptors, SpaceX is rapidly iterating on these processes and producing higher quality engines, Kirisich informed. Fuel Depots SpaceX is also working toward demonstrations of the storage and transfer of cryogenic propellants in space. It is the liquid oxygen and methane Starship uses to fly to and land on other worlds. Kirisic said of cryogenic fuel management, this, by the way, is very high on their top risk list. So there is a thorough ground test program. One of the most important aspects is a thorough in-space propellant transfer and also measurement of boil-off in the space test plant. SpaceX will launch the lunar lander version of its Starship into low Earth orbit during Artemis moon missions. This is where it'll rendezvous with a depot. This propellant depot will be optimized. The optimization prevents the boil-off of cryogenic fuels in space. It is a known fact that space is very cold, but objects in space can get very hot regardless when exposed to sunlight. SpaceX has plans to load this depot with propellant before the launch of a lunar starship. This is with a tanker form of vehicle. Kirisic said it would require quite a few tanker flights, relatively speaking, to provide enough fuel for a starship to the moon mission, but wasn't sure about it. Although this timeline depends on several factors, SpaceX's next goal is to test a flight of Starship and Super Heavy. SpaceX is planning to test flights, including a full 33-engine static fire test of Super Heavy, an FAA launch license, and final preparation of ground systems. The test will be conducted at SpaceX's Starbase launch facility in South Texas. NASA is tracking three additional flight tests of Starships for fueling demonstrations after this initial test flight. The second test will entail a tank-to-tank -tank transfer of propellant, followed by a Starship-to-Starship -starship transfer of propellant to a complete fueling of the Starship from a depot in a long-duration flight to mimic the in-space time of lunar mission. It's not like every time NASA goes to the moon, it'll start with an empty depot. So SpaceX plans to keep its low-Earth orbit propellant depots topped off with fuel for missions other than Artemis. The nominal target for an uncrewed test flight of Starship to the surface of the moon and back up to orbit around the moon depends on how well SpaceX's in-flight demonstrations go. This target is set to be achieved toward the end of 2024. If this is successful, it'll set the stage for the Artemis 3 mission, carrying NASA astronauts down to the moon. Let us know in the comments section what you think about SpaceX manufacturing an engine every 24 hours. If you're interested to know more about such topics, subscribe to our channel now.